Is Luna Classic about to get listed, relisted on Coinbase? Stick around to check that out. We're going to be talking about that and more. Uh, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. This could be a gigantic day for Luna Classic, or it could be a gigantic week for Luna Classic. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I think will happen to the price when this happens. It'll probably get a little bit crazy, but I want to give you a, at least a minimum of what I think uh, the next move would be. Uh, we do have to remember that there are a lot of people who are devout in trying to suppress the price and keep it down. They don't want to see success. Uh, those whales, if you will, that are shorting are, are you know, look, this is a game that we're playing. So uh, we're going to talk about that. But uh, first, we're going to cover a little bit of news so that you guys are fully informed. And let's kick it off. Uh, first of all, Terraform has now asked to extend coverage of worker legal fees. So uh, they've filed a petition with the bankruptcy authority to make sure that they can continue to make their payroll. Now, uh, the big thing, Coinbase reportedly relisting Terra Luna Classic. The Coinbase exchange has reportedly making plans to relist Lunk on some of the platforms in show of support. American multinational crypto trading platform Coinbase Global Inc. is reportedly making plans to relist Terra Luna Classic. The news now circulating on Crypto X is considered a major bullish update that can push Terra Luna Classic to new highs. Current chatter on X from the Lunk community members revealed that Coinbase Wallet has showed support for Lunk. One of those who first broke the news noted that the Terra Luna Classic is now is showing available to trade on Coinbase Wallet. Uh, Mr. Diamond Hands, known as one of the more popular validators in the community, uh, said that the Coinbase wallet features a coming soon outlook for Lunk. It is completely silent on the status uh, in 2022 when Terraform Labs collapsed and it delisted it. Within the, within the collapse, you know, of course, there, there was no ability to change. Now there is. The news on Coinbase potential relisting has sent a bullish uptick into the community. Now, will that make it, um, will that prompt the price? No. The, the, the actual listing of or relisting, if you will, of uh, Luna Classic onto Coinbase would do that exactly. And uh, I don't know that they're going to do that immediately, but that would be real thumb in the eye, if you will, of the SEC. The SEC, who is, in fact, attacking every single crypto right now in this Democratic administration. So we'll keep you posted if we get any information about that, but let's move on. Uh, freezing LFG Reserve, USTC and Lunk on the Terra Classic blockchain. This is a proposal not up for vote yet, but it is something that's that's being considered here. We propose to freeze the LFG reserves on the Terra Luna Classic blockchain to protect these assets. Remember, we talked about this yesterday and how uh, some of it was pulled out of, this is not all of it, by the way, but it was pulled out from the Luna Foundation Guard, whose job it was to protect Luna Classic. Uh, so if we could blacklist this entire thing. I'm not, I'm not a, by the way, I, I will specifically say I am not a proponent of blacklisting. I think all of those tokens should be turned over to me. <laughs> Woo! A Terra Classic blockchain. Um, this would be an interesting concept here because if that happens, then you would effectively be reducing supply, uh, not too much on Luna Classic, but on USTC you would be reducing it by an enormous amount of supply, 1.8 billion tokens. And that, uh, based on, you know, there's about 7 billion in circulation right now. There'll be a significant, a significant removal of assets. And Luna Foundation Guard is no longer in existence. They're gone. So, you know, that, that, that was supposed to defend the UST peg and now they're gone. So why are they still holding and why aren't we just removing? You know, you guys get it. So anyway, that's going to be coming up probably for a vote pretty soon. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, look, a little comment down here. Well, submit your proposal. Let's see how much approval they get outside of the Twitter theme park. Uh, if we're serious about a repay, we should be proactive in making moves. So, you know, in solidarity, these guys are, are supporting it. Let's move on. Um this, by the way, I, I got to inform you that there's a, a new website, lunaclassiccommunity.com operator Levathar. And it is not Levathar, uh, but it says, we are Luna Classic Community, part of the most scammer Web3 community volunteers. Luna Classic Community is common grounds for all entities and groups of scammers on Luna Classic. Uh, and it says right here, Levathar node. Somebody made that. This is not Levathar, by the way. Uh, they didn't make this. Uh, somebody else did. Uh, most speculation is that it's community member Aru Barusu on Twitter. I looked that up on Twitter, and that's just some uh, Japanese um, uh, per, or, or, or Japanese or, or, or 
Chinese, and they didn't. It didn't have anything to do with Luna Classic, or at least that I could see. So uh, you know, I'm not sure that the name is spelled correctly. But um, he wanted 25k from the CP to fund uh, an algo bot to repeg USTC. Uh, multiple experts in the field called him out on it, said he needs more work, uh, won't defend the peg, and he threw a hissy fit. So you know, it could be that we're just looking at some asshole uh, who's doing this stuff. Uh, and you know, it, each one of these is, is just, you know, very, uh, ridiculous and, and, and comical about all of the stuff that, that, that it is, but, uh, definitely stay away from Lunk community, Lunk, Luna classic community.com. That's what this is. So, um, but let's move on station. We got the proposal to change the, uh, API to all nodes still going through the process right here. Um, not passing and uh lunk dash is the only one we've got who's voting who's voting what we've got 13 yes uh, we've got one no and we've got one no with veto and that's lunk swap so you know smaller guys have jumped in here and started to um started to to, to cast their votes now we'll see how this trends as of right now we have no idea so now let's look at price action well, let's see how we're doing Price action is uh, kind of trending sideways. I mean, I think that's you know what we can expect right now with the broader market still trending sideways. But listen, if we get listed on, this isn't going to be an ironic thing here, but if we list on Coinbase, the average pump on Coinbase is 50%. Look at that. 50% takes us right to where I said that we're probably heading right now. So I would venture to say that most likely that Coinbase listing would give us a nice little pop. Now, that's the start of it. I think a lot of people would see that, you know, a listing by Coinbase would be the start of a more significant rally. So if you just give that, you know, that's another 50% up here, we could be looking at a 3x, maybe get a 100% listing, because I think it is my opinion that this would hit different. This would make people feel like, hey, wait a minute, this zombie chain that doesn't exist anymore suddenly exists again. And I think that would be a, a motivator, a prime motivator for a, another test. Potentially, it's a little early, obviously, but it would be another potential test of dropping that zero. And I mean, a, an, an epic big sort of move. So you know, it would take a move all the way up into this range right here, which looks you know kind of far away. But if you go with, if you just grant that the top right there, you know, it's not that it's not that parabolic a run to see a move up into that range and see it like this. Like, we just see this kind of move right here. If you just grant that, you know, this was the move right here, right? And you come right here and you make that move. And that doesn't even take you up to the to the previous high because you're, you know, coming from this range. But if you, um, if you just, again, grant that there would be uh, another move after that, that would actually make sense because um, I know I'm getting deep in the weeds here, but if you just bring it up like this and you're seeing a drawdown to about 0.5, that would be enough of a motivator, just a prime sort of motivator uh, to make this thing happen. So it is possible entirely that Coinbase flips everything. And by the way, in the event that Coinbase were to flip everything like that, that would be a 10x at least from where we are right now. And that would take us up to about a $6 billion market cap. That's not out of the way of what it looks like in some of these top, you know, you, it would put us in the top 20. That's probably a little bit aggressive. Uh, it's, and it's probably, it's real more like an 8X. So you're looking at about 4.8 billion. So right outside of the top 20 into the top 25-ish, where Pepe that doesn't do anything is. So, you know, if you will, I, I, it's very possible that you know we get uh, just a, a fantastic sort of uh, move. You know what I mean? So uh, and, and you know we we look at this and we look at like six billion dollars in volume. We look at you know some of these kind of wild moves and, and things like that that are happening. And you know we see twenty seven billion, twelve billion, fifty six billion in trade volume. You know we're looking at these big trade volumes, but you know when you start to come down here, you're not seeing that that much. Polygon two hundred forty four million. Litecoin 368 million, ICP 128 million, uh, Unis uh, 1.8 million. So when you look at this broadly, that's kind of the 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 level of trading that we had up until really recently. We were having about 100 million a day plus 
So that actually kind of jives. So if this happens and, and we get something like that, all bets are off. We could be looking at a just a, a, an enormous push uh, for Luna Classic. Now, as far as USTC goes, if we were to get a reduction in supply, currently looking right here, um, 6.8 billion in circulating supply in the event that that 1.8 was legitimately removed, if you will, if that if that were uh, reducing to 4.8, that would have cut effectively cut this in half. And that means we've got five to 10 cents tar uh, USTC. The excitement would just absolutely spring, if you will, out of you know what's what's happening here you would probably look at that and then of course we'd have to find a way to just burn it completely and get it off the chain uh which you know that would that would be coming later but that would move it down to five billion tokens would be one of those numbers that uh we would just it would be a knockout for uh the community so let's move on today we're going to talk about frg and we're going to talk about what that is so buckle up FRG is the Futures Reward Group, uh, FRAG, if you will, and they've launched Lunk Zombies. And if you are interested, you can certainly check that out. Now, you would go to Miata.io, which is the NFT launchpad over here, uh, in order to check out Lunk Zombies and buy yourself some of these Lunk Zombies. Now, there's 170 to 750 that have been minted over here for 200,000 Luna Classic. Uh, all you do is connect your wallet over here. And then uh, mint one. And then, of course, you have a possibility of getting rare, an epic, a common, or a legendary. So, um, and, and then, of course, if you get one of those, and that gives you a little bit more strength inside the game uh, in order to um, I, I, in order to fight your way. And, guys, we've played this before. Uh, I showed it to you a couple of times before. I'm not going to go into the, the gaming portion of it again today. But, I mean, you, you certainly can come over here and you can check these Lunk Zombies out. Buy yourself one. And you can, by the way, if you're looking to get... Uh, let's say an epic or even dare I say a legendary. Do I see a legendary out here? Yeah, if I want to grab a legendary here, you can actually bid on it and you know offer three hundred thousand, something like that. You know, see what you can do to 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 grab a legendary so that you're equipped when you're ready to play. But you go to Miata.io in order to do that. Uh, there's this website, FRG explains to you everything that's going on and how you can uh, earn tokens. Here's a fun distribution. There is, by the way, a white paper uh, if you want to check that out. And you can click it uh, at this uh, website right here. Uh, that's frgtoken.tech. Uh, pulls this up. Gives you an overview of what the token is, what the gaming synopsis is, uh, the storyline behind it. Then there's the unique NFT connection, collection, uh, purpose of the collection. And, by the way, when, the more you win, the more you are able to earn um uh, it, it's part of like a staking pool, stuff like that. Go read this and, and check it out for yourself. It's a pretty cool concept. And if you want to buy uh, FRG tokens and you come over here to Terraport Exchange, uh, pop it up right here and FRG is available for you right there. And uh, you can trade it for either Terra, which is up, by the way, 2% in the last uh, for today, uh, or uh, Luna Classic, whichever one that you're looking for. Uh, so, uh, and also if you want to, you can go to uh, twitter.com the frg coin so uh that's all you have to do and I wonder, why do i unfollow i don't know why this happens um and then of course if you want to um here's the uh here's the telegram you go into the telegram that's where you start in order to play the game uh also uh as part of that ecosystem there is also the lunk candy meme coin so go to lunkcandy.tech and you can buy candy in coin hall uh here is Candy Kid Big Bang. Here's the white paper. Here's the P2P market. And then here it is where you can buy it through Terraport. Uh, and you, know, you can go over here, Big Bang X. There are some very exciting plans coming for Cryptonomy VIP users. Make sure that you're signed up to the Cryptonomy Telegram. Follow the Twitter account for rewards and prizes. There's going to be extensive promo programs and giveaways for all Cryptonomy VIP users. Also, I've uh, introduced a unique opportunity for users to evaluate the platform's performance and share your personal experiences. So if you are looking to do that, your comments can be posted on cryptonomy.finance slash reviews. You guys know what I've been saying. You know, I think XRP is about to have a moment. So we're going to make a deposit over here. Uh, we're going to do 10,000 XRP right now we're going to stake that for we got another 12 months so we're going to put that in there 120.7 percent apy we're just going to stake this long term 
Scheduled amount is going to be 12,075 XRP on the way out. Uh, the yields continue. The launch pool, TARS protocol, did a 13X. Xverse, remember, did a 4X. Blade Swap did a 5X. Uh, these guys are finding really good projects, putting them out there for you. So make sure you sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today, which is one of the NFT launch pads. And you can uh, buy yourself some of these candy NFTs. Uh, and that's the Big Bang um, Play, Create, Trade. Um, go check this whole thing out. So uh, that's it. Guys, got to get going. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Guys, if Coinbase were to launch uh, this uh relisting then you know price price go moon so uh 10x about to get to that zero being dropped uh be a be a big move big robust move by the entire community i think that you know the the the, the team the team all of the teams could be benefiting tremendously by something like that and don't forget as is currently being done there is uh, an anchor protocol for a lender that the, what's being worked on as we speak and there's a repeg being worked on as we speak. So those things combined with with Coinbase, um, you know, that puts us in a a, a a potential rarefied sort of air to have a nice big pump to lead off this upcoming bull market, which we're not exactly there yet. We'll look back at Bitcoin and we'll say that the bull market started in January of 23. But for altcoins, eh, not for all of them. For some of them, it you know, for for newer ones, it kind of launched a little bit. Solana had a recovery. Uh, Solana was way down below. By the way, when we look at this, Solana went way down below what it should have been because of the fall of FTX. But, you know, so uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. And uh, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you again very soon.